Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Robert and in this How To I will discuss Oracle Hyperion Data Relationship Management, or DRM, as well as doing a quick walkthrough of DRM. So let's give a quick overview of what Oracle Hyperion Data Relationship Management is, as well as some highlights from the latest release of DRM, which is 11.1.2.1. Previously, DRM was known as Hyperion Master Data Management, or MDM. It is a data model agnostic master data management tool which allows you to use a variety of databases such as Microsoft as well as Oracle. It's designed specifically for financial and analytical MDM work and you can create and maintain a consolidated single version of the truth. Here are some of the highlights from the latest release of DRM 11.1.2.1. It is now web deployed for a full feature browser based client which allows you to easily roll it out across your organization. It has internationalization support which is based upon Unicode for your MDM as well as it has improved usability. There is new role-based user access as well as the ability for a single DRM server to support multiple applications as well as the ability to insert, add, and move things as siblings which is new and it has multi-node clipboard, cut and paste, or take and put support as well. So let's do a quick installation walkthrough of DRM. As you download and install DRM, you'll, your downloaded file will have two files in it. So I would suggest extracting those into a folder on your computer, such as or install DRM, in this case x64, because I was installing the 64-bit version. So you'll double click on the setup.exe file. It will load this here. We'll simply click next after you've read through the agreement. And we'll do a complete install. So we'll hit next. And then we'll go ahead and hit install. Congratulations, you su successfully installed DRM. Now you can launch the console and configure it. Please stay tuned for future Performance Architects how-tos that I will be doing on DRM so you can see how to configure it. And we wanted to thank you for joining us and please visit Performance Ar Architects how-to channel for other videos and enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.